Hi. In certain cases, you want to send out a document for signing, but first it has to be filled by somebody that doesn't have to sign the document. For instance, you might want to get some information from the account department, uh, accountancy department, and they don't have to sign it. It's the CIO that has to sign or the CEO. So uh, we can now enter a role of filler. So this is somebody that fills in the document, make sure all the form fields are uh, filled in, and then the, continue, uh, the signing can continue. So to set up a, a filler, it's very easy. You have to make sure that you select the role filler here. To make sure the role filler is uh, uh, available here, you might need to uh, go to the uh, pick list value, the global value set. That's part of our uh, sign button managed package uh, called role. And there you have to activate the filler field. If this is not active with the, uh, with the inactive values, then you can just activate it here. When it's active, it will automatically show up in the configuration and you can select the role filler. For the rest, everything is uh, quite the same. So you can ju just have to select the data source and then indicate who's your filler. So who's the, uh, the in this case, it's going to be a contact. So I'm going to uh, pass on the lookup field for the contact, the first name, the last name, the email address, and then I'm going to hard code the, uh, um, the language to uh, English, so to send out an English email. So. That's the configuration of our filler. Now that our filler is there, uh, we can actually just do the same thing that we normally do. So we create a doc config with form fields. Uh, and in that doc config, uh, we're going to send it out. So this, uh, um, this one here will have, uh, okay, I will gonna edit this one and then add it back. So we will now have a filler and a signer. So we will now have a filler and a signer in this uh, setup. And now when we have a filler and a signer, first the filler will fill the document and then the signer will sign the document. Okay, let's take a look. So uh, I'm gonna send out via the um, opportunity, I'm gonna send out my document. <clears throat> So it's already sent out for signing. Okay, you can ignore this, uh, brief, uh, this preview, but you can see that there are multiple form fields here that have to be filled. So uh, these form fields have to be filled by uh, yeah, the filler. Uh, let's take a look at our uh, sign requests, if it's already uh, sent out. So my sign request is already in pending so that means that my filler will already be there and you can see in the bottom of the page that the filler has a new icon so you can actually directly start filling it from there but i also want to show you the email um, and the email that is sent out of course you can uh, customize this email and rebrand it uh, yourself it's just a lightning uh, email in Salesforce, the lightning email template in Salesforce. And from here, I can click the button to fill the documents. So now we're gonna fill the document. The filling of the document, of course, has the same kind of properties uh, like the normal filling of the document. So if there is uh, validation to be done, and in this case there is, uh, it will immediately say, hey, these fields are actually mandatory. So uh, now I can fill in some data, some data one and some data two so i click done and now the document will be all the information will be stored in the document if the configuration says that also information has to be updated in salesforce it will be updated in salesforce but we can also see and follow that entire process into our uh, sign request so our sign request in the audit trail will now show that the filler has filled the document and that the new request a new email was sent to the next signer so okay uh, for demo purposes i'm going to sign via here of course a new email was sent uh, you can see that the email was sent here and i'm going to just start signing from here so uh, you see that the new the second signer actually cannot change anything anymore so this is uh, the out of the box configuration. If you would say here that there is uh, form fields per signer, then you can actually indicate which form fields are for the filler and which form fields are for the signer. If you don't, if you switch this off, then all the form fields are for the filler, the first filler in the uh, in the process. So now my uh, yeah everything is done, and obviously I can just sign my document. When the document is signed, uh, 
um, the signer will get an email. The filler will not receive any emails that the document is signed and everything is completed, obviously. 